Do you have curly and kind of coarse hair and you want something straight and bouncy with volume without going to the salon or a perm? Watch this video. This is a smooth and polisher serum, olive oil, and also I have some leave-in straightening conditioning cream. Also I have two combs, a wide tooth and a small one, rubber bands, some bobby pins, a big clip, and last but least, my straightener. It's a very small straightener because I have a bob, so I have short, short hair in the back. Now to start this off, you're gonna have to put some you're gonna have to wash your hair, of course. Put some deep conditioning cream in and just put it all throughout your scalp. Ends, roots, all of that. You're gonna, le you're gonna wanna le let your hair air dry also, but I already did this step and it smells amazing. <laughs> Next, we're gonna put some of the serum, which is the olive oil extra virgin serum. We're just gonna put a little bit, not too much, just you know enough to fill a little bit of your palm. We're gonna put it on the ends first, and then we're gonna go all the way down to the scalp. What this does is it's kind of like a um, heat protectant to your hair, and also makes it smooth, bouncy, and silky. My poor hair. curly girl problems. Next, we're gonna brush throughout the whole head with the wide tooth comb, nice and gently. You don't wanna pull any hair out or break any ends. Now this is the short hair I was telling you about. You wanna be extra careful trying to brush those because you don't wanna, that's the new hair. So you wanna try to use the small tooth and try to, try to get it in throughout the whole head to make sure it's brushable. Once it's all detangled, we're gonna start the parting process, yay. Now what I do is I start from the arch of my eyebrows on each of the sides of my head because I have the style and of we're gonna, bob, we're so gonna part that into I have different nice lengths in my head. head. And once we're done parting, we're gonna put it in a nice elastic rubber band. Now this part is very important. When you're putting an elastic rubber band in your hair and if you have coarse or curly hair, you wanna be careful. So we're just gonna wrap it around one time and we're gonna gently put it into a small bun. Same to the other side. Wrap it around only once or twice and put in a gentle small burn. Now for the middle. I'm just going to use my finger to part this and we're also going to do the same thing. Now for the back of the head, the hardest part. We're going to grab the small comb and we're going to part directly into the middle of the head which is gonna be, if you have the style of a bob, it's going to be one of the longest parts of your head. So you wanna get, you wanna separate all that. And we're also gonna put it in a small gentle bun. Now we're gonna try to separate the shortest to the longest parts of the head, but first I wanna part it right down the middle. Sorry if you can't see that too well. So we're gonna grab one side, and even though there's small, small hairs, it's gonna be hard to grab, but we wanna twist it and we wanna pin it up with a bobby pin. Now for the other side. What we wanna do is we wanna take this, we wanna separate the smallest from the longest parts of the hair. So we're gonna do this, the shortest part of the hair first. And we're gonna put, we're just gonna put the rest up in, an, in a bobby pin. Now for the straightening process. 
I have mine set to 25. So now that I have everything out of the way, we're gonna start this. Now usually when I straighten my hair, I use the comb to use me as a guidance. But since my hair is so short in the back, I can't do that until I get to the longer parts of my hair. So I'm just going to gently straighten it and I'm going to curl a little bit underneath. Now when straightening your hair, you don't want to go over it too many times because that's what damages your ends. Even though I have the heat protectant in it, it doesn't always protect it on 100%. So you definitely don't want to go over two or three times. Which is very hard when you're not using the comb as a guidance. As you can see, it straightens really easily. It's nice, smooth, and silky, and you can see the volume in it. Even when I brush it down, it still pops a little bit back up. Now we're getting a little bit to the longer parts, and maybe I'll try to use the comb for this. Now you can see the shorter parts and the longer parts. That's exactly what I was talking about, so we're gonna try to separate those because it's gonna be hard to straighten if you're trying to straighten short hair and long hair. So we're gonna separate that. Curly twist with the finger and just a quick pin up. Now, as you can see, just using the straightener, it's kinda straight, but everything's all compressed and flattened and not all the way straight. Now look how, at the extreme difference using a comb as a guidance. It separates the hairs, it makes sure everything's in there, and it straightens perfectly just after one use. Nice and slow to get the ends. Now look at that. Nice, straight, bouncy. No crinkles, nothing flattened. Big difference. Now I highly suggest using this method. I understand that it can be difficult to hold the comb and straightening at the same time. And some people think that, oh, it's a waste of time. It makes it longer. But if you think about it, it really doesn't because you're only govering it once or twice. That's it. Not three or four times or you know what I mean? Trying to fix the ends. It's definitely a better way to do it. There it is. Nice and full and silky. I want to show you how, how wavy and how curly and a little bit coarse my hair is. look how it looks just after one time doing it this way with the products that I'm using in my hair and the way that it's straightening going nice and slow getting those ends and there it is just one time and it moves it's not stiff Now I did the whole back of my head and I also did one of the sides and it's very bouncy and very smooth and it smells really good. <laughs> the volume's still there no matter how many times you brush it. Now moving on to the right side, we're going to put a little bit of the serum in there because since I had it in the bowl, you know, <clears throat> kept it a little dry. So we're just going to put a little bit on the ends. Run it through there.
Make sure everything's detangled. And we're gonna start our sectioning off. We're just gonna twist that and put it out the way. It's a little difficult holding the comb, but it's definitely worth it. Voila, just one time, that's it. <laughs> Get that out of the way. Now this is a lot, so I'm gonna part it in half just so it won't get in the way. As you can see, it's very difficult to hold this comb. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Still work though. Now we're gonna start with the top of my head. Ah, the hardest part. <laughs> my arms are probably aching right now. But we're gonna get this out the way. And this is extremely faster than the normal way that I do it. I wouldn't even be this far if I wasn't using that comb, honestly. And if these products wasn't helping me the way they are. And there it is. Nice and smooth and give it a little bounce. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh, work it honey, work it, mm-hmm. <laughs> Now this is all a little bit coarse, so I'm gonna put a little bit more serum because it, th my ends at the top are very, very dry. So just a little bit, especially on the ends. Two drops, really. <laughs> Make sure I get it all in there. Make sure it's all detangled. When you're straightening, you don't want anything to be tangled or mushed together because then it won't look straightened. It'll look wavy and it'll make your ends really, really rough. So I'm just going to pull out a little piece, just a little finger part, twist it up and get it out of the way. Oh, this is the finished look. And women that have bobs, we want volume. <laughs> we want to be able to move and shake and still have that volume. I'm gonna brush it with this and I want you to see how it's just falling. How it's just flowing. I know I'm messing up my hair, but you see that? It's moving, it's bouncy, and it's flawless and I love it. And it's all because of this, the way you do it and it's the product that you use that makes your hair this way. You can't just get it that way from a certain type of straightening or teasing. This is volume and bounce just from the products I'm using and the way I'm straightening my this hair. This tutorial helped girls that have curly hair, curly short hair, and um, please like, comment, subscribe. And if you have any questions, just let me know. If you need another tutorial, just let me know. <laughs> Bye guys.